Well, hello there. <laughs> I don't think I saw you. <sighs> so, welcome back to my channel. It's been a long time since I actually sat down and had a bit of a chit chat with you. And I can only apologize for that. I've just been out and about enjoying my life. <laughs> Not really. I have been enjoying my life, but I just haven't had the chance to sit down and, you know, do tutorials or chit chat type of videos. But I'm going to create some more time so I can do these things and then have these sort of conversations with you. Um, so if you are new here, thank you so much for clicking on my channel. Hopefully you do like what you see and you come join the club. The little gem squad. I think that's what I'm going to call you guys, the gem squads. Because um, obviously my name is Jemima. And obviously if you aren't new here, thank you so much for tuning back into my channel. Do you like this new look? So I did it for my 30th birthday. If you haven't seen that vlog, that movie, I mean like seriously <laughs> I'm gonna put the link up in the cards and um, you can go and check it out it's it's really nice I tried pole dancing for the first time so go and see if you want to see how I tumbled and twisted and turned go and check it out <laughs> but yeah um, I feel like since hitting 30 um, my thinking my perspectives um it's changed slightly actually it didn't start when i turned 30 i think the build up to 30 my mindset and everything started to shift um you know i wanted to just be more than just you know jemima just just jemima but i wanted to be you know a purposeful person um so i really started to invest in myself so today what we're really going to be talking about is you know um some of the things that have changed or I'm continuing to improve on as I've turned 30. So yeah, if you want to know what that is and what you can learn from it or what you can add to it, because you know I love reading your comments, then stay tuned. So I'd probably say the first thing is I have become very um, emotionally intelligent. Um, I feel like I'm in tune with my thoughts, my feelings, my emotions and all sorts. So I let it rush in and then I assess it and I sift out all the negative ones or the things that aren't really good from me. So if it's from media, from negative people, from just anyone in general or just a situation, I'm able to sift it out um and take the good out of it and then work on that and use it to build my life and i feel like as i was going towards the you know growing up and maturing it has definitely improved and it has really helped with my relationships professionally and romantically <laughs> yes it's really helped me be in tune with what's actually going on you know not taking everything to heart being able to assess okay this is what's coming this is what i can take out of it and this is not good and you know just being able to just jigsaw it all together and yeah i feel like building up to the 30s that's that's the main thing that has really um changed um for me and it's really helped me i can do a whole video on how i've been doing that um and how i i'm continuing to do that because i love to read books so i can share my whole book list with you guys but yeah i'd say that's one of the main things emotional intelligence as well as awareness of my mental health um that has been so key and so profound for me and um, I'm still on that journey and I'm gonna be taking you guys with me. Of course, why not? And I think also I value my time so much right now. I'm a mother, if you don't know that. <laughs> my son is 15 months, actually 16 months now. Wow, going so fast. <laughs> I value my time so, so much. And that doesn't mean I cut out unnecessary people out of my life quite quickly i give people too much chances 
but let's just say I cut out the chaff quickly and effectively so that I'm able to focus on the relationships and even myself, you know, taking care of myself, uh, my son, my family, um, and just my passions as well, having time for those things. And I'm learning like new um, vocations. Is that what they call it these days? I feel so ancient. Uh, it's not a vocation. Um, just new things to do. There's so much on YouTube. There's so much on Pinterest. And I love arts and crafts and just trying new things. Um, I mean, pole dancing, come on. Like, I want to do more of that. So I want to be able to free up my time so I'm able to do those things that, you know, set my soul on fire. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Also, I would say, now this has been a very one, very one. Can I speak English? This has been a tough one because I've always been the type of person, oh, I'm an empath as well. I've been the type of person who um, always likes to make excuses for people when they do me wrong or um, stuff like that. I've, I've struggled with voicing my feelings as in like, if something's not going right, voicing it out and letting them know that actually, I don't like it when you do this or I don't like how you do that. I've I, growing up, I struggled to state those things. So I always felt like, oh, I'm the bad person. Okay, I want to make everyone happy, everyone content. It's okay. I can morph. I can adjust. I can accommodate. Um, I can tolerate, you know, I can compromise. And then, like, my standards and my values and everything would be just dwindled, like, just non existent. And I feel like right now, because I'm getting in tune with my mental health and my emotional intelligence, I'm able to just sift out all of those stuff and articulate, okay, in a very gentle manner, my feelings, my expectations of, of, of certain people um, and certain things in my life. I'm able to express that in a very gentle and considerate way. Um, that way I'm not hurting anyone's feelings, but my feelings are not being undermined either. So I feel like it's been a long time coming, but I'm getting there. Um, and it's just onwards and upwards from here. So I love that. I absolutely love that. And I'll probably say uh, the other thing is um, growing up, I did have a whole load of insecurities. It's probably things that I built up in my head, as well as the people I surrounded myself with, as well as the ex boyfriends that I got myself involved with not all of them one was very precious <laughs> he's lovely <laughs> you know who you are and I'm not talking about you you know you're a good guy um, but the others it actually fed into my insecurities because it made them worse um, and again always trying to accommodate their bad behavior um, and then accepting that obviously I didn't have that much values. That's why, you know, they would treat me that way or these bad things will be happening to me. So I'd always absorb all this insecurities and just let it fester. And I feel like right now, as much as I do have some insecurities, I've had a baby, guys. My belly's sagging. Now that I've winged the baby off my boobs, my boobs are like... <laughs> Yeah, like this. And you know, I've got my crinkly, wrinkly under eyes. But you know what? I don't give a rat's what else. <laughs> what you think about those things. And I genuinely believe that because those are my insecurities to have. But I'm not even insecure about them anymore. It's just part of life. And um, I've grown to love them. So. If you can't accept it, then jog on. Oh, it's really not that, basically your opinion is really not that important to me, okay? okay? But yeah, I feel like that's also been a long time coming as well, um, where someone says something, especially online, um, I feel like I do have a tough skin to it. Sometimes it's not even a tough skin. I really don't care because I don't know this person. They do not know me. They do not know my circumstances. They do not know my story because I practically lived with a real life troll. So it made all of this just a walk in a park for me. You know? <laughs> I'm not making light of people who live with real life trolls because I've lived with one. I can talk about that experience 
another time um so stay tuned actually i will talk about that experience um and the effects it had on me um but yeah as a result of that i just learned to love myself because it was either i took it on board as in the negativity and then just let it fester let it fester and just eat at me or one i do something about it or just accept it because I can't do anything about it. So yeah, I feel like that's the sort of things that I've changed in terms of my perspective and my mindset. What are some of the things that have changed in your life, like in your mindset, since you've hit, you know, a milestone? 18, 21, 25, 30, 35, 40, 50. Share your thoughts down below. I want to actually hear it and see if like our experiences are, are similar. Can we learn from each other? I'm forever learning, guys. And if you have any good books, people, I love to read. Put them down below. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much for, for tuning in. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I've got more to come. And I hope you like this new background. <laughs> I've got the white one, but I got this one as well. I thought this was quite sparkly. But yeah, and let me know if you like the hair. It's different, very different, but I think I like it. I've gotten a lot more compliments with this one than any other hair that I've, I've worn before. So anyway, on to the next. <laughs>